Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be finishing up putting the head on Xavier's build um, and to do so we've got some parts here. Uh, we've ordered a Tomei head gasket kit which includes your throttle body gaskets. It includes your exhaust manifold gaskets, another intake side uh, intake gasket and the head gasket itself. It also comes with a oil restrictor little pill in this kit a lot of people just discard and throw away to the side but it's actually a restrictor pill um, so you don't get so much oil flow uh, and we'll be installing that into the block right here on top of this one okay so we got the head back from Kowalski Racing uh, this is going to be Xavier's head we went ahead and checked it for squareness uh, made sure there wasn't any low spots make sure it didn't need to be decked um, while we were there we had them sand down the quenches here a little bit to uh, round the edges. And what that helps do is it doesn't have a sharp edge on it. So when you're running the engine um, at higher horsepower, it has a tendency to have a sharp edge and will bring on the onset of detonation because that edge will heat up um, by removing a little bit of that sharp edge. It won't heat up as bad in the cylinder and cause a little bit of premature detonation. And if you want, you can see these are what I'm talking about right here. There's normally a sharp edge on that. So now I'll show you before anything started on the short block, we're going to be pushing this restrictor down inside the block a little bit further to make our room for the new restrictor pill. Um, and basically it's a tinier orifice hole in it to restrict the oil. That's why it's a restrictor. I'll show you how you just need a standard punch and a little hammer. You don't need to get too crazy with it. We're just going to be pushing this down in the block a little bit. You see how it's going down like that. It's got plenty of room. And then what you're trying to do is just take it far enough to where this you know is going to fit in there flush. And then this, the pill, if you notice is one beveled edge on there and one sharp edge take the beveled edge and you put that in the hole side that way it gets started and you're not turning it sideways and then you just take your punch again and start working it in there make sure that thing's flush so it's not sitting up on the head You can put it down just a smidge below as well if you need to feel confident about it. Okay, now that that's done, we can put the head studs in. And we're using the standard ARP head studs for an RB26 12 millimeter. And we'll go ahead and put them all in. And what I like to do is when installing these, put a little lube on the bottom threads as well. Uh, that way it's nice and doesn't bottom out. And, just goes in a little bit smoother and it'll torque a little bit easier. Uh, when you're putting these in, what I like to do is run them all the way to the bottom so they bottom out. And once they've bottomed out, I'll turn them back a half to a full turn. That way, when I'm torquing the head down, uh, it's not grinding itself into the block, causing you know stress points and damage as far as that's concerned. You don't need, really need a lot of the lube on this side of things because that's not exactly where the clamping force is. I just like to do it. Um, a lot of it's going to be on the head of the washer and the head of the bolt itself. So when it's clamping down, it has a little bit of slippage there. And a lot of people have done tests on different oils and different kind of solutions that they use to clamp down the head with. Um, but this lube right here that they supply you with and it'll actually come in this as well and uh, Basically, they've tested it with different clamping forces um, It goes right to the torque spec several times some you can get there and then some it's not enough uh, Slippage to where it won't get to the torque spec. So this is pretty good stuff right here. All right, so once I have them all hand tight, what I normally like to do is use a five millimeter uh, Allen set 
I'll take these and run them all the way to the bottom just to make sure that they bottomed out and everything's about the same height and then I'll pull it off a half turn to a full turn. Uh, these I'll probably do one full turn back out um, and then we'll put the head gasket on and get ready to set the head on. All right, so we have that done. All these have been backed off a full turn, uh, so they're not grinding into the bottom of the block. You can see they're wiggling a little bit. Um, now we're gonna be putting on our Tomei head gasket. This is an 87 millimeter, and it's a 1.2 mil thickness. And uh, this comes normally in the kit with all this stuff, like I said. And this is what's considered an MLS gasket. It's multiple layered. Um, as you can see, there's a couple, four different layers in there. So take this and put it on there. And you can't really put this on backwards. I mean, you see the different water ports, so you're fairly confident in where it's going. So now that we have this in place, we can go ahead and put the head on. Just make sure everything, there's nothing, no trash in the cylinders. Uh, everything looks good. We have all the torques on there. Make sure everything's clean for debris on the head. Make sure there's nothing getting trapped in there, little pieces of dirt, anything. And then we'll take this and put it on the block. All right, the next step is we're going to be installing the washers and the nuts onto the ARP studs. And if you're not too sure, ARP actually supplies you with a foot-pound torque spec of those nuts on them and also gives you a torque sequence. Uh, that way you're going to uh, start in the center of the head and work your way out. Um, and these also you have to do in steps, um, which means we're going to be setting a few you don't go directly to 105 foot-pounds, you're going to offset it in, you know, equal number of steps up. You're going to start out with 35 foot-pounds, you're going to jump it up to 70 foot-pounds, and you're going to finish everything off at 105 foot-pounds. So, next thing you're going to do is take this lube here, and you're going to add it to your washers. And what this does is it makes sure both the metal on metal contact, it slips nice and easy so we can get to the torque spec. We'll install this onto the stud itself. Okay, so now that you have all your head studs in, the washers have been put on, the nuts have been put on. Now it's time to start torquing everything down. Uh, you have everything in top dead center, so that way nothing gets messed up when you're trying to put the timing belt on and move the cams, because you won't be able to, because um, of the uh, valve and piston interference. So it's very important that you put everything at top dead center before you even get this far. Uh, so we'll like I said, these torque sequences are going to be stepped between 35 foot-pounds, 70 foot-pounds, and then we're going to end up at 105 foot-pounds. Now we've gone through a full sequence from to 35 foot-pounds. Now we're going to bump it up to the 70 foot-pounds and do it again. Okay, and once more at 105 foot-pounds. And that's gonna be our last torque step. And I like to just go through it and uh, make sure 
all the torques have been met. Make sure it doesn't need a little bit extra. So now that we've finished up, we'll recap what we just did. Uh, first, we made sure the surfaces were decked and cleared and made sure they were straight. So when we put the head gasket on and the head, everything has a nice seal on it. Um, we put the restrictor pill in uh, and then once everything was done, we put the head gasket on it, put the head studs in, made sure the head studs had a half to a full turn back off from bottom. Um, and that basically keeps it from grinding into the block. It make sure your bottom end is at top dead center, make sure your cams are at top dead center. So when you go and put the head on, you won't have to turn these cams because if you go ahead and tighten it down with them not in top dead center and you go to try to put the cams in the right spot, you're going to hit the piston and basically have a mess. So make sure you do that before you even install the head onto the block. Um, then we put the washers and the nuts on the head studs and torqued it all down. We torqued them to 105 foot-pounds and three different torque specs. So basically you're going to start out with 35, do the sequence, do a 70 sequence, and then finish out at 105. And then once you have that done, you're pretty much ready to go and install the accessories and put your timing belt stuff on and everything like that.